In this StockCrunch video, I want to show you how to perform two sample hypothesis tests. So, we're going to start with a two sample hypothesis test for the mean. I'll also show you how to get a confidence interval for this situation as well. I'm using some data from Chapter 8, specifically 8.3 Exercise 23. This is listing the hours of sleep people got without using a drug versus the hours of sleep people got using a new newly developed drug. And we want to test to see if the hours of sleep on average are the same. In order to do that, we'll go to Stat, Z Statistics, to Sample, with data. Again, there's a with summary option here where you can input the summary information, and this may be useful to you as you work through the homework. Just input the summary information described here, and when you click Next, it'll be the same set of commands that I'm about to show you with the data. So go to Stat, Z Stats to Sample with Data. Sample 1, we'll put in column 1, hours of sleep without drug, and sample 2 in column 2, hours of sleep with new drug. And we want to test that the new drug provides more hours of sleep than sleep without the drug. So we want to actually test that this is the bigger one. So if we look here, what we're testing is sample 1 minus sample 2. If sample 2 is the larger one, this result should be negative, so we'll select less than. Click Next. We'll leave this as 0 since we're testing to see if they are identical, meaning we're testing to see if the two averages are the same, which would give us a subtraction of 0. The alternative, we want to know if it's less than 0 since the second one is the one we expect to be larger. And then click Calculate. And here we get a negative Z statistic and a p-value of 0 0.0001. If our alpha level is 0.05, we would reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the new drug does indeed provide more hours of sleep. Now, what we can also do through the same set of commands, so again, stat, Z statistics to sample with data, is we can input our columns of data and click Next and we can find a confidence interval for the difference of the two means. So I'll find a 95% confidence interval by selecting confidence interval and putting the level of 0.95 and clicking calculate. And here I have a lower limit of negative 2.33 and an upper limit of negative 0.72. Now remember this provides a confidence interval for the difference of the means. Now let's look at hypothesis testing and confidence intervals for proportions when there's two samples involved. This time I'll show you the with summary option, but this would play out the same way if you had data here. Let's suppose though we're comparing the proportion of females to the proportion of males who like the color pink. So we'll go to stat, proportions, to sample, and we'll use with summary. If you use with data, it would be the same as what we did for the means before. We'd select our columns of data and then click next and we'll get the same set of commands that we're about to see in the with summary option. So again, we go to stat proportions to sample with summary and we're asked information about the samples. So let's say sample one is the females. We have 85 females and out of the 85 females, 61 said that they like the color pink. And sample 2 would be the males, and let's say we have 100 males, and out of these, 34 indicated that they like the color pink. Click Next, and we want to do a hypothesis test to see if the proportions are the same. So that would mean we're testing a difference of zero. And we'll leave the alternative of not equal to selected, since we want to know if the proportions are the same or not then click calculate. Here we get our z-stat and our p-value. Our p-value is less than 0 0.0001, so it's quite small. So we would reject the null hypothesis and say that the proportions are indeed different. 